quick update. So I came outside, it's kind of weird. So first off, um, I want to do a quick update for everybody, uh, simply for this reason. Um, this is kind of an emotional situation. Um, every time I try to uh, catch somebody up to speed in person, I get kind of choked up. So it's just, it's just easier if I do videos like this and um, just post them out and share them. And somebody says, hey, what I didn't catch, what's going on? I can just send them this. And it's just easier for me, it's easier on my family, and we got enough to deal with right now. We went and seen the surgeon yesterday. Um, today is the, uh, ooh, what day is it? Today is the sixth. Anyway, so hopefully that isn't too overbearing. So anyway, so we uh, went and seen a surgeon yesterday. We were looking at uh, Mandy having surgery and Sarah having surgery as well. Um, so after talking to the surgeon about Mandy's visit as of yesterday, she actually has three procedures that she needs to have done. Um, but they can't do all three in one surgery, in one sitting or one session, whatever. Um, so what they're going to do is... Um, they're gonna do two of them in one surgery and that is scheduled for our next week. Um, and then sometime in August, uh, we're, he's looking at uh, scheduling Sarah's surgery. And then depending on Mandy's uh, recovery time uh, from her first procedure, then they'll go in and do a second procedure. So, uh, sorry, a third technically. Um, so basically what that entails is uh, Mandy's basically got to have three invasive areas um, on her on her head and uh, Sarah is going to have one uh, Sarah's is a little different it's a little weird actually uh, it's hard to it's hard to explain to be honest but uh, what's 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 a little concerning is that it's not um it's not the von hippel lindau they don't think it is it's not it's not a typical von hippel lindau tumor so they don't know what it is um doesn't sound like they think it's anything alarming um but it's definitely it, it does concern us a little bit right so we are people of faith you know i i, I feel strongly that everything's going to be all right it's just scary to go through it right it's uh those of you who know me, uh, I've said this before in other situations, it's not that I don't think it's in God's hands. It's just uh, God's plan isn't always what I want. So it's like, you know, it's like asking your parents for something and they just do their own thing. It's how it is, right? And you can, you can say it is well with my soul and still be worried about the outcome. It is totally okay, right? I, I can say, you know, whatever your will is, God, I, I accept that. Um, I do accept it, but doesn't mean I feel great about it. So whatever the whatever the outcome, yes, my hopes and my prayers are that everything comes out fine, all of their symptoms are relieved, and uh, yeah, that's my hope. But just to, just to catch you guys up, um, anybody who doesn't know already, so my wife and uh, both my daughters have a genetic disorder or genetic disease. It's called von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. Uh, it grows these <coughs> vascular, you know, uh, vascular tumors uh, on the spine, the brain, and other parts of the body, all over. Actually, uh, my family, uh, my wife and my daughters, uh, primarily have them in their their brain and um, you know kidneys and pancreas uh, for the most part. Uh, so that's what we have to deal with. But it's it's a non-curable disease. Most of the tumors are benign. Uh, that, that it produces all of the ones that uh, my family has had have been benign. They're just in bad places um, Mandy's is critical because it's actually restricting the flow of the brain fluid the spinal fluid and everything inside It's not only restricting the flow, but it's causing a backup which which uh, the Scans that he was showing it's almost like it's bruising the brain. It's swelled up so much that it's pushing the inner walls uh, Out so bad explanation. I know but that is what it is but uh you guys who have reached out to us, our church family and our uh, 
our our newest friends here in Texas um, for sure you know the outpouring of, of love and care and and just like what can we do for you has been great um, you guys that uh, that work with me uh, same thing right I, my, my boss asked me today he's like what what can we do you know what let us know you know hey you know we'll, we'll try to do something our church family has been great uh, all you guys back home uh, family and friends who've been praying please continue to pray um, we've got a few months of uh, dealing with this and um, my prayer is that you know everything goes as expected and goes pl as planned and no more issues come about uh, he gave us some very positive news he said my wife is actually at an age to where uh, the tumors, um, sh there's an age range in women, uh, when you hit about 40, I forgot what the range he said, but she was, she was in it, right? She's, she's in her forties, uh, barely. She just did make it, but she's at a range to where in women, uh, the tumors primarily stop growing and stop producing. So it's basically, you know, the hope is get this done. Um, and she has some other tumors but they shouldn't be growing. And if they don't grow and they don't cause any issues, then no more surgeries, no more worry. Uh, so that's my hope, my prayer, <laughs> across my fingers, whatever side of that ledge you land on, be hopeful for us, right? Um, I know it's in God's hands and, and uh, yeah, the Lord can do whatever he wants to do. I'll put out some updates um, like this periodically. I just, there's just so many of you guys, I can't text everybody, it, it's actually, it's actually a big hassle um, just to keep my family <laughs> up to date because there's just so many people to to update. So uh, I have a I have a I'm gonna put together a group text for those of you who are the closest to us, uh, not really geographically, but you know relationship-wise. Those of you who are closest to us, I'll put together a group text uh, during the process. And um, Mandy's first procedure sounds like it's gonna be like three to four hours surgery he said it's not hard to do but the, the the reason they have to break it up is that third portion is actually very time consuming and uh, to do all three in one session he said it would be like a 20 hour surgery uh, so the first one is the critical one should give her a lot of relief uh, and the uh, the first session and the first two procedures she does should give her most of the relief she needs uh, and then the uh, the third one, the final surgery for Mandy, um, is basically just to address one that is going to cause her issues just like this. So, thanks for your love, thanks for your prayers, thanks for all your outreach. Um, those of you trying to do stuff for us, I mean, we're hard-headed people. Um, if you know us well enough, you know we're 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 very self-sufficient. We're we're very stubborn and bullheaded. Um, really been working on that the last few years people reaching out offering things I'm very quick to say oh we're good we're good yeah don't take that as any kind of um, don't 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 misunderstand that for any unappreciation it's just something it's something we're working on is uh, you know accepting and and yes you know I, I've, I've been continually reminded I'm robbing someone of their blessing if I if I deny help you know somebody reaching out but it sounds like things are gonna go pretty pretty okay I'm able to work from home um, I mean having this job and being in this location couldn't have worked out better timing wise uh, and being able to work from home is is great so uh, kudos to my to my job for really being supportive in that that range so things are going well uh, but yeah you guys who are reaching out wanting to do things for us um, you know meals and things just to take that off the plate and so we don't have to worry about it um, during care time you know we're open to that just <laughs> it just feels awkward to, to receive help and it's a little and it's overwhelming right it's it's uh it's definitely it's weird um, weird to us it's just awkward to us so we, we're trying to work through that and get better so apologies if that comes off as any kind of disrespect it is not meant that way at all we love you guys and so appreciative so before all the world breaks loose again as it is thanks for watching thanks for all your uh, your love care outpouring and uh thank you for everything and uh, i'll keep you guys updated talk to you later